So if you're into hiking the multitude of trails that Maine has to offer, you may have noticed. Many of those trails have been ravaged by flooding caused by some heavy rain from storms this past winter and spring and repairing those trails costs money. As part of our ongoing series on Maine's changing climate, New Center Maine's Leanne Stapleton tells us how one organization, Portland Trails, is working on not only making repairs to the Presumpscot River Trail, but making it more resilient against future storms. We are not uh, any strangers to storms. We live in Maine. But when those storms pack a punch, this year we saw some of the biggest storms we've ever seen, and they all happened within four months of each other. So we weren't really able to uh, repair from the first one before the next one hit. Organizations like the nonprofit Portland Trails take a hit. A lot of the biggest challenge is the erosion of the trail surface that leaves the trail, and we then have to rebuild it in order to have people be able to use it and, uh, and transit it. That's why an emergency summer fundraiser was set up. Never really had an emergency fund like this. The $100,000 fund is really an immediate reaction to get things back and safe as quickly as we can. We spend anywhere between thirty dollars and $50,000 in trail materials. So that's just materials without labor. So that's about how much we, we budget every year for that. Our estimated costs from repairing the storms is three times that amount. Um, and this truly is just repairing these. Uh, it's not actually making um, these trails more resilient. The large price tag is for projects that require immediate attention. And of rocks here uh, actually used to sort of come up here. It was all drifted down. This earth actually used to come about to here where I'm standing um, until about eight months ago. Stairs, which are really a critical juncture to get to this trail system down the Presumpscot River, heavily used, now look like a series of logs. They really uh, originally had material in them, so they would look like steps. There would be um, the logs that pin in material. It would be gravel, it would be wide, it'd be smooth, it'd be easy to transit. And this has um, really disappeared. It kept getting flooded out and flooded out and flooded out. And so what we ended up doing is moving it back and making it more of this kind of style that is a little bit more sturdy. You have things that go right into the ground. Um, you have these handrails. It's a little bit longer because you're covering more area. But this is a good example of something that like what was a $400 bridge is now a $10,000 bridge. But this fundraiser isn't a long term fix. More and more uh, frequent storms of bigger velocities. And so that material gets washed out and we put it back. It gets washed out. So we're trying to get to a point where we can be more sustainable not lose material and have things that'll get through more and more storms over time. Between labor and material costs. In an area like this, we have to bring the materials in. We oftentimes do that um, with motorized wheelbarrows, so a lot of it is by hand. And with more storms, more money to make the 80 miles of trails around the greater Portland area more resilient could be needed down the line. Sorts of big solutions are millions of dollars throughout our trail system. As Maine's climate continues to change. Really like many roads, when we think of our roads, we're constantly trying to keep up with maintaining them and, and uh, making sure they're safe. Can get these stable, invest more up front, the less we have to do over time. Leanne Stapleton, News Center, Maine. Portland Trail has actually met the $100,000 goal on Friday, but they are still taking donations to help with future trail work. Learn more about Portland Trails at trails.org.